Hi, it's Sun from the Math Easy Solution. Here to discuss Google's uh, pretty amazing ngram viewer. If you were basically go to Google ngram viewer and click the first one that comes up, or you go to books.google.com slash ngram viewer, this is a pretty uh, amazing uh, graph that it shows if you were to search any word or phrase yeah for example the default one has albert einstein sherlock holmes and frankenstein and it's a graph of the percent usage in all the books uh, according to this one from 1800 to 2000 from the corpus or just means from the, this basically all, all english books right here yeah so this is a uh, basically a lot of published english books you could change it to american english or german hebrew etc you can learn more about that if on this uh, right here if you go right click open new tab the engram viewer learn about it tells you what you can do so i'm just going to go over a few things first of all an engram is just um yeah it's just a word or basically set of words that mean one thing for example if you look at uh, nursery school here that's a two gram or a bigram, and then a one gram in kindergarten. This is just one word. Child care, another bigram right here. So what the calculator or what this graph does is basically looks at every, let's say this bigram, Albert Einstein. It looks at, it, it makes it inside these all the English published books that Google has. Basically, uh, it it gives a percentage of this bigram or this two le two worded um, thing meaning the same thing as Albert Einstein uh, compared to all of the two bigrams in this uh, in in the set of books right here and as you can see Einstein was born around somewhere around here before 1920 and that's when the first usage of his name is shown in books Sherlock Holmes is much earlier but then Frankenstein I mean, I mean Frankenstein is much earlier uh, this, this had something like that a while ago, but then Albert, I, I mean Sherlock Holmes is relatively new, but the, uh, compared to uh, Frankenstein, I guess Frankenstein it could have someone's last name, so that's why even though the uh, Frankenstein, the um, the evil scientist experiment is a bit newer, but even though, but it's still showing here, so this is the jump in here. So as you can see with uh, Frankenstein right here, uh, it, there's a big jump from around just past 1960, you can see there's a huge jump in it. And uh, just another point, this smoothing, this just means, because uh, it, it takes an average of the years, this just means uh, every three years, it basically this means every three years in front of the year, let's say 1940 would be average from 1943 and to 1937. So it's actually a six year span. You could change it to make it, it would have less spikes if you go like this. See, so there's less spikes right here because you're averaging wider distances, but if you go to one, you're gonna ha obviously have a lot of uh, up and downs. And you could also download from here this, the, the raw data that this has. I'm not gonna go into too much in depth in it, so you can check it out yourself. You could even, let's say, quantum mechanics. Let's see when this is shown. I think that's how you spell it, quantum. That's how you spell it. So, uh, so basically, as you see, it starts around 1920, and this is, you could make it case insensitive. This one is uh, basically case sensitive. Yeah, so right now, it's just showing all of the different cases it combined into one, so this is all. But if you click this button here, case insensitive, and now it has quantum mechanics with uh, capitals, with the first capital, with all capitals. This is usually for titles of books or articles. As you can see, this one is basically uh, without any capitals, and if you click it, I think if you right click it then it just combines with all and now there's uh, actually some advanced stuff you could use for it for example there's the wildcard search so like this one they have an example of university of and then you just put a star to be that wildcard so I just copy this paste this in here and so if it just enter so it searches which one is the highest and it, it shows the top 10 so University of California has the most throughout these books from 1800 to 2000 that's in this English set of books that they have you could change that for other stuff. And other, other stuff you could do is inflection, which is basically you just put a uh, this uh, underscore INF in front of a word saying that it could be book or book booking. Basically, all of the uh, inflections or similar wording for that word. So you could try that. There's other stuff like uh, the case sensitive, which I showed. You could also search part of speech and then say if it's a a verb or a tackle, I mean a verb or a noun like this, tackle, you just put underscore verb, and there's a whole set of these tags here, uh, etc. So you try those. 
out uh, for your own. And if you scroll down more, you could see uh, you could also add expressions. You could subtract the number of it. So you could do some other calculations if you're into this stuff right here. And there's basically a whole set of stuff you could do here. I'm not going to go over that. I just want to get the idea of the Ngram view, which is pretty amazing. And you could also, there's a bunch of FA, uh, um, FAQs or frequently asked questions about it. And you can make sure to read that. They even have the smoothing one here, better explanation than I just gave. But anyways, I just wanted to show this because this is pretty amazing. Because it basically has so many books, published books throughout uh, basically hundreds of years at your fingertips in terms of finding out what each one contains uh, as an average trend over uh, over the years which is pretty amazing anyways that's all for today I just wanted to go over this to show it uh, and you try it out for yourself it's good for historians or you're doing a paper or whatnot you want to see uh, basically the trend of any certain topic or even disease that you're looking into or a anything for basically any field you could just it's really important. Uh, it can be important. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.